Welcome, Gemini and Cross Walkers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always time stamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid. If that means for you, this could resonate past, present, or future. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. Okay, uh, so we see I love you under the deck. With I am afraid to contact you, I wish things could be different. So I don't think it's a matter of this person not wanting to make contact. They don't feel that they can. I remember every detail of that day. They're remembering or playing something in their mind. Let's take a look. Your energy, their energy, what is between you and this person, the obstacle or the main thing blocking this connection, their thoughts, feelings, intentions, and any potential actions they may take towards you. Okay, what is going on here, please, for the collective Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? Your energy, theirs, between you and this person, the obstacle. Thoughts, feelings, intentions, actions. Okay. Under the deck is the Queen of Wands with the Page of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. So for some of you, there could be children involved in this situation or there's like this need for information to be able to know how to move forward. Um, signs that are heavily here. Very strong fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Strong Leo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra. I mean, Libra. There, I mean, there could. There's a lot of energy here, but the strongest placements: uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, Capricorn, Libra. I feel like you see this person as someone very attractive, very fun. You know, really high energy, King of Wands. Someone very strong, very determined, male or female. Now, I do want to say that we have the Queen of Wands under the deck and the King of Wands. So you and this person, I mean, this could be a soulmate for some of you. You may feel a very strong connection, a lot of physical attraction, a lot of physical tension, chemistry. And I do say that because I also see the devil here, which can talk about like lust or like temptation. I think you see this as someone who's like I said, very strong and very capable, whatever they set their mind to, very intense. And this person's energy, though, with the moon, they're not certain how you feel or what you want here. The moon talks about uncertainties, doubts, confusion. I also feel that this person is, like, hiding or holding back their true feelings, maybe feeling a bit insecure. There's a part of them, though, that does want to, like, open up. Like I say, between you and this person, though, with the devil, it talks about, like, obsession. I want to pull a couple of cards, though, just for some additional clarification here on this situation. So, what is going on for you and this person? Okay. Like I said, I feel like this person could be kind of insecure. We have insecurity, feeling hopeless, unworthy, or inadequate, low self-esteem. We have telepathy, which says communicating telepathically, dreams, or visiting in the 5D. We have curiosity, wanting more information, spying, or interest. This person could be watching you. Reconciliation, apology, coming back together, and forgiveness. So this person may want to apologize to you. They may want to come together and try to rebuild something here. They can't stop thinking about the situation. You can't stop thinking about the situation. You're both obsessing here, thinking heavily about the other. The issue being the sun. Well, okay, so the sun is the happiest card in the deck. You know, it can say that you feel very comfortable, very safe with each other, very warm, excited, playful. But as a negative, it's like someone who's preventing themselves from really being happy. Someone who's not opening their heart or following it. Uh, sometimes the sun can talk about children. So it very well could be that maybe there's a child you know, that's kind of in the way here. Sometimes the sun can even talk about clarity or truth. So for some of you, it can also say that there are things that have kind of come to light that have caused some type of separation here. 
Now, I don't feel this way for all of you, but for some of you, it's definitely possible that maybe this person has to make some change in their life. Like maybe they are making a choice between two people. I'm afraid to contact you. I wish things could be different. I remember every detail of that day. Apology. Coming back together. They're feeling very insecure. They can't stop thinking about you. They want to be happy, but they've been preventing themselves from moving forward towards you because they're afraid of something, some kind of truth coming to light. When they think about you, the Five of Swords is my rearview mirror card. It's like looking back into the past, you know, and walking away from something. But, like, oftentimes, even in traditional depictions of Five of Swords, you see someone who's walking away, but they're not jumping, dancing, singing, clapping. Like, they're not they're not enthusiastic. They actually look kind of pained or, you know. So it's like someone who thinks they've won some kind of battle, they've walked away, but now they're having regrets about their choices or their actions. And we see that because, again, come back together. Apology. What does this person feel? I think that this person is kind of trying to process their feelings, yes. Six Swords is about getting from one place to the other, but they have to make some kind of transition or change in their life in order to move towards you. Their intentions with the death card, this can talk about an ending, Scorpio energy, making some kind of choice, ending uh, toxic karmic cycles, trying to do the right thing, trying to find balance in their life. So for some of you, this person wants to have like this new beginning. But the, again, there's curiosity, needed information. Page of Swords. Ace of Pentacles here. This person wants to offer you something, but they don't know what to offer you. They need to be honest and speak up here. All right, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pull messages from your person to see what this person wants to say to you. Okay. Capricorn. So for some of you, there could be a Capricorn involved. You could have strong Capricorn in your chart. Uh, or perhaps Capricorn season could be relevant for some of you. Yearning to hold you again. It's not what it appears. February also. February could be relevant. We are currently in March, but maybe something happened in February, or it's someone's birthday, an anniversary, or an upcoming event. I have intimate dreams about you. You are the only one for me. If I tell you that I love you, will you say it back? We have the I love you card here. We also have insecurity. Right? So it's like this person, they're afraid that maybe you don't have these same feelings. They're going to put themselves out there end up getting hurt. We have Scorpio energy or Scorpio season also. Nobody will ever come between us again. I love the sound of your voice. Let's do one more card. Childhood trauma. So somebody definitely could have had like a really difficult childhood. There could be a lot of insecurities from the past. Nobody will come between us again. You know, there's something very comforting about you. There's a lot of different, like, emphasis here on, like, time frames and zodiac signs. So, some of you, those could be relevant. You're going to hold you again. You're the only one for me. If I tell you I love you, will you say it back? This person feels like you're their soulmate, like you're their person. And this person wants to come back together with you. They want to do the right thing. They want to set the record straight. They want to fix things. But in order to do this, they have to go through some kind of ending or major change. This person thinks about you a lot. Like there's a lot of physical energy here. A lot of like very intense like uh, physical chemistry. But this person's saying, I'm afraid to contact you. I think that I think the thing here is this person's very much afraid of being rejected. Now this situation definitely could be really complicated here. But they're afraid that maybe you don't, you're not interested in them. Or that there's been too much from the past. Um, they don't know how to move forward. They want to know how you feel. They're trying to fill you out to figure out how you feel. This person's going to try to come in and do the right thing and, and, and make this choice. But they're putting themselves out there and they're feeling very nervous. Because this is opening them up to be very vulnerable.
putting them in a position where they could get hurt, right? Because if you reject them, I mean, I mean, it never feels good to put yourself out there and say, this is how I feel. Here's my heart, you know, do with it what you will. I mean, that never feels good for anybody, right? I think this person's very nervous about that. It's not what it appears. This person ran because they were scared. They were dealing with other things. This person has so many regrets for the past, remembering that day. They want to reconcile. They want to fix this. They want to contact you. They want things to be different. This person feels like you're meant to be together, but they have to kind of clear some things out of their life before they can move forward. But I do feel like this person is going to want to try to open up to you, but it is hard for them to do that because they're looking for uh, signs or clues or something to show that you have the same level of interest that they have. Okay, so that is what I have for you. Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings.